I'm ill by the way, just full word. Put that out there. back in my bedroom filming another how I style video. This time it's all featured around one item rather than just styling different winter outfits but I want to do a mixture of these so sometimes styling one thing, sometimes styling lots of things. It's a fun time. But today we're going to be styling my denim dungarees. These ones are from Lucy and Yak and they kindly sent me these. They're their Atlas style but I basically wanted to film this video because I really really love the brand. Um, like. I think I've made it pretty obvious I'm trying to go ethical and sustainable with my fashion and Lucy and Yak is one of my favourite brands for that. They basically have lots of different dungarees, lots of um, trousers, they've got some fleeces, some coats that I'm really eyeing up but I know I've got a lot of coats. Um, but they're made of recycled plastic bottles and I really really want one um, so you know I might have to treat myself. And um, yeah, this video today is all focused around the denim dungarees. These are the Atlas ones, um, they all have different names. But yeah, these are the Atlas denim dungarees, which are made from organic denim. Is that the right thing? I'll read the little booklet that came with it, which is really cute by the way, look at that. So most of their products are made by a small family business in rural India in a clean, comfortable and solar powered factory all great, and um, that they helped build, even better. Um, and they also work with GOTS certified cotton farms and manufacturers for their organic range, which these dungarees are. Um, and they visited the factories and met the makers of their recycled range. Top marks. Um, I sound really sarcastic, but I'm not. Uh, our biggest priority is the fair treatment of the people that do the hard work and the environment. We use certified low impact dyes and we post your Lucy and Yaks out in biodegradable mailing bags, which I realised when it came through the door, I was like, I like it, smart. Um, and then their whole like motto is, if it's not comfy, why are you wearing it? Which I totally agree with. Hence the big oversized men's fleece. Um, but yeah, I'm basically going to be styling my Lucy and Yak denim dungarees. They're organic, they're ethical, sustainable. <laughs> Love it. So yeah, let's get cracking. So the first outfit isn't really weather appropriate for this time of year, but I kind of wanted to include different outfits for different seasons as well because I thought this video could be helpful not just for this time of year but all times of year. So I'm starting with a bit of a summery outfit, I'm not going to be wearing it out at the moment but come summer you'll be seeing me in this. So I'm going for my Calvin Klein bralette which I know is a bralette but People wear them out as crop tops and I'm going to be one of them. So yeah, I'm going with this under my denim dungarees and then I'm going to style it up with some necklaces. But I'll get the basic bit on first. And I'm really using my hands today. Um, but yeah, I'm going to get the basic outfit on first, then I'll accessorise and it'll be good. What is it with the hands? So I'm here in the outfit. I spent ages looking for my little Brandy Melville necklace. I'm wearing it. Um, so I'm just going to put some earrings on as well and I already know which ones I'm going for. Um, normally when I wear kind of, not exposed things, but like when I have my neck out a lot, that sounds really weird, but like if I have a lot of this area out I normally tie up my hair, but I thought when I'm styling loads of different outfits in a video it's not really practical to carry on tying up my hair and putting it down but when I'm normally wearing an outfit like this I tie up my hair. So because I normally have my hair bag I was thinking of wearing quite a few earrings which will still look fine with my hair down but would just look even better with my hair up. But I'm going for these little dangly holy people. I never know whether it's Jesus, Mary, someone, I don't know but like it looks holy so I'm going for these little dangly holy ones from Boohoo. Then I'm going for my little dangly stars from Brandy Melville and then finally if I can find them I'm going for these little thin hoops from H&M they're literally nothing special just little thin gold hoops and um, so I'll whack those in and then whack on my trainers I people commented on the last video about how I say whack on so much I don't know where I picked it up from but literally for the last few months I just say oh yeah I'll whack it on stop um but yeah I, I can't help it you're gonna pick up on it again but you know, who doesn't love to whack on their clothes? So as well as putting in the earrings, I also decided just to put on my trainers rather than showing you and talking about them and then putting them on. Like I thought might as well just put them on and show you. Um, so I thought I'd keep it with like the light summery theme. So I've gone for my 
Bershka little trainers. Um, but yeah, I'll show you the outfit as a whole now. I was thinking with this, because you can't really see the bralette much, you could wear it with one of the straps down instead so you can just see like a bit of the bralette poking through but you know completely up to you but i think i'd wear it like this nice so yeah this is the outfit standing up pretty much the same as sitting down the one thing of these dungarees is they're quite baggy so sometimes i do put a belt around it as well but i thought because this is quite like a light summery playful outfit i'd stick away from the belt but yeah when i want to sort of like cinch things in a bit more whack on the belt stop saying whack put on a belt um but yeah didn't want a belt for this one this is how it looks because i've taken one of the straps down one of the legs does go slightly longer but then when you're like moving around a bit i wouldn't want to roll up one of the legs so it compensated if you get what i mean like when you move around it's fine it's just when you're stood still that you're like oh i'm not making sense this is the outfit i like it like it with one of the straps down also like it with both straps up it's it's a great time So next up I have a much more weather appropriate outfit, like it's it's cold and you know jumpers are the best thing for it. So I've gone with my striped jumper from Misguided and I'm also going to put on my pink ski jacket over the top um, and also accessorise. It's a pretty simple outfit. I feel like when you wear dungarees you can afford to be quite simple because there's a lot going on. Um, so yeah, just going to keep it simple, jumper, coat, necklaces, boom, got it. So as well as switching up the outfit, I've also switched up the accessories. So I've gone for my lovely little moon necklace from Brandy Melville and just these small little delicate hoops from H&M. Just wanted to keep the accessories quite simple because it's quite a chunky, warm outfit. I felt like I'd be a bit more delicate with the jewellery. Um, and then for my shoes, I've gone for some similar ones to the last shoes, but I thought I'll change it up a little bit. Like not much, but a little bit. So I've gone for my Reeboks instead. Um, and then for my coat... I've got my puffer jacket. Well, it's a ski jacket, but it's quite puffy. So I carry on calling it a puffer jacket, but it's a ski jacket. I've got my ski jacket. Um, so yeah, this is the outfit as a whole. I really like it without the jacket on. Like, I also like it with the jacket on. But I want to appreciate it with the jacket off first. So yeah, really cute. I haven't put a belt on with this one either because I just like it as kind of a big, thick, baggy outfit. And also, what's good about these dungarees being baggy is if you go out on a date or... You're just out eating no one can tell how bloated you get because i get really bloated when i eat it's not so much that i've eaten and filled up i just get really bloated and then i look pregnant and most of the time you don't really want to give off that impression on a date i mean you might want to that's up to you but it's not really what i go for so yeah this is the outfit without the jacket and then this is the outfit with the jacket so yeah not a lot of difference but you know wanted to appreciate it about the jacket first So we're continuing the stripe theme for the next outfit, but kind of going for a bit of a jazzier stripe. So I picked out this sort of thermal top from Shein. It's really comfy, really warm for winter, even though it's not that thick, but because of the thermally sort of material, it feels thick or it feels warm at least. Um, so yeah, I'm going for that, keeping it quite simple, not bothering with a jacket. Obviously, if I was to wear it out, I probably would put on a jacket, but I don't want to bore you with just showing you jacket after jacket when, you know, I could just put on a black jacket and it would look pretty much the same but I want to show you the outfit mainly because of this Um, I feel like I'm rambling but yeah I don't really need to show you a coat of every outfit I'm only showing you a coat where I feel like the coat really adds to it with most of the outfits you could just chuck on a black coat or a fluffy brown one or some sort of simple coat Um, so yeah I'll put this on change up my accessories and I'll see you in a bit I am changed so I've got my top I've got on my boohoo holy person necklace and a couple of pairs of hoops from H&M. Then for my shoes, I decided to go for my dock boots just because, I don't know, I feel like it really went with the outfit. I kind of feel like this outfit is almost a bit farmerish. I don't know, I kind of get that vibe from it. But I thought to keep with that, I'll go for some big chunky boots. So yeah, that's the outfit. I've also put on a belt to sort of cinch in the waist because I like to do that sometimes. Um, yeah, that is the complete outfit. So I'll show you it standing up from a distance. I don't know how well you can see, but I also went for some yellowy kind of socks to match the yellow in the stripes because, you know, I think like that. Um, but yeah, full outfit, love it, really comfy. That's the main thing of these dungarees, they're so comfy. I think I'm just gonna find myself wearing them lots and eating lots when I'm wearing them because who can tell? 
So next up, I'm going for a much more wintry outfit. So I'm going with my black fluffy jumper from Monkey and then putting my big snakeskin puffer jacket over the top. I love this so much. I know it's a very Marmite piece, like you either love it or hate it, but I love it. Um, and then I'm also gonna switch up the accessories, do the usual and show you in a minute. So I haven't put on the jacket yet just because I wanted to show the outfit as it is. Um, but yeah. This is how it is. Um, I've got the belt on again just to cinch in the waist a bit. I haven't gone for a necklace just because I feel like with this jumper necklaces sit a bit funny. I think it's the neckline or something. But yeah, they just don't sit right. Then for my earrings, I've gone for these Boohoo hoops, which are actually heavier than I remember. Like I can actually feel their presence, whereas normally I forget about my earrings. Um, yeah, I've gone for these Boohoo hoops and then kept in my H&M hoops. Um, and then yeah, going for my puffer jacket from Nasty Gal over the top. But I wanted just to show the outfit first um yeah this is the outfit oh shoes i've gone for my nike air force in black love them so much i've got them in suede brown as well but also have them in black classic um yeah that's the whole outfit i will show you from here um yeah, <laughs> this is it. I might as well put on the coat now as well, just so you get the full effect. So yeah, this is the outfit with the jacket. I know some people are gonna hate it, but what can you say? Um, yeah, I like it. I feel like it's out there, so I'm going with it. This is the outfit, loving it, loving it. And then for the last outfit, it's all gonna be styled around this jumper, which is a Hugo Boss jumper that I got from Depop. So it's got quite a vintage vibe to it, and I feel like styled with the dungarees will just enhance that vintageness. I don't know what I'm going for. That's what I'm putting on. Gonna change up my trainers. I'm not gonna put on a coat with this one, just because, again, I'm trying to like only wear a coat if it really adds to the outfit. Otherwise, you can just picture I'm probably gonna put on my black puffer. Um, yes. Let's get changed. So yeah, this is the final outfit. You can't really see where it says boss on the front, but when you move, it kind of moves around and then you can see it. So I kind of like that subtle detail. Um, then I've also gone for this dainty little necklace from Brandy Melville, just to add a little bit of pizzazz. Um, and then for my earrings, I thought I'd go, go hard or go home. So I've gone for these thick, chunky earrings, which my best friend got me for my birthday. I can't for the life of me remember where they're from. And then for my shoes, I've gone for, whoa, I'm losing my balance. Um, I've gone for my chunky black trainers from Bershka. So I'll give you a little full length shot um yeah love it um i did roll up the trouser legs a little bit more because when i put the belt on that kind of pulls it up so then i roll the trousers down but then when i don't have the belt on they kind of sag a bit so then i roll them back off if that makes sense but yeah this is the final outfit i love it i kind of just like the color of the jumper anyway even if you can't see the boss detail bit um i just think it all goes together loving the vibes loving it so that is it for the video i know it was only five outfits of how i style them like there's many more ways that i could style them but hopefully this gave you a little bit of a basis of what you can pair with denim dungarees i mean there's very few things that you can't pair with denim dungarees i feel like they go with everything but yeah this was just a few outfits i'm sure you're gonna see these in my weekend outfits a lot because i feel like it's gonna be very hard to prize them off my body they're so comfy i've been lounging around in them for about like two days now bearing in mind i only got them like two days ago so i know it doesn't seem long but i've been wearing them basically since i got them um yeah that's everything i hope you enjoyed it and i will see you soon